Thank you, Madam President. I'd like permission to speak to the entire package of bills. Proceed. Thank you, Madam President. As was mentioned by the Senator from the 29th District, there was a work group that was held this summer over a period of months that sought to bring about resolution to the problems that we've been experiencing in the Grand Rapids home for veterans. We've got two state homes for veterans in Michigan, one in Grand Rapids and one in Marquette. The one in Marquette is top of the line. The one in Grand Rapids, as we know, has been wrought with fraud and abuse. We've been treating our veterans like garbage. And in large part, that's because we've privatized the workers out there. So you would think that this legislature would respond to that inadequacy by not taking the same model that has failed our veterans in Marquette, or in Grand Rapids rather, and expand that model across five new veterans' homes in the entire state of Michigan. My colleague talked about the fact that we held a work group this summer and that this bill represented the findings of that work group. My friends, that is inaccurate. Three of the four legislators who sat on that work group this summer do not believe that these four bills correct the problems that we're currently facing in our veterans' homes today. Pick up the phone and call Representative McBroom. Pick up the phone and call Representative Rutledge or ask me. Three of the four of us who sat on this work group will tell you these bills do not reflect the agreements that we came to this summer. These bills open the door for the privatization of not just a few workers, but all the workers in Grand Rapids, all of the workers in Marquette, and every single worker in every single veteran's home that we will be opening under this act. Make no mistake, we need additional veterans' homes in this state. We have 100,000 veterans in Wayne County and nothing for them. I agree 100% with the need for creating this authority to go out and compete for financial dollars, federal dollars, to aid in their construction. All we had to do was take the authority that we used for the construction of the Mackinac Bridge and replicate it for the construction of veterans' homes here in Michigan. We chose not to do that. We asked for meetings. We asked for phone calls. We asked for the opportunity to work across the chamber and across the aisle, and we were denied. I'm not sitting here trying to whine and cry about it, but my God, we can't do anything in this chamber without making it partisan. Education issues, seniors, police, fire, whatever. We're talking about veterans. We're talking about giving veterans the quality of care that they deserve in this state, and we can't find it in our hearts to put aside the Democrat and the Republican and do the right thing. It makes me sick. And it should make every one of you sick as well, because our constituents are watching at home, and they want to know why we can't put aside our differences and do the right thing for our veterans. I want these bills to pass with amendments. I want these bills to pass because we need our veterans to receive the care that they deserve. But these bills do not, they do not reflect the agreements of our work group, and these bills will not improve the quality of care for our veterans. So I thank you for your time, Madam President, and I ask for a no vote. Colleague is wrong in the, in the respects that this does not reflect the recommendations of the work group because it does and we're silent and he's carrying the water of labor in this, which I think is wrong because it's short-sighted and it would tie the hand of the authority to provide the best care for our state's veterans. Thank you, Madam President. As I said in my previous remarks, I think it's unfortunate that we can't do anything in this chamber without making it partisan. We can't even respond to my comments without making it partisan. Trying to say I'm, I'm carrying the water for labor. Is Representative McBroom carrying the water for labor? Is Representative Rutledge carrying the water for labor? We said in our work group meetings this summer to adopt a model that allows for the best quality of care for our veterans. We said, let's not turn this into a fight between business and labor. We have civil service employees in Marquette. We have civil service employees in Grand Rapids. Why would we not keep civil service employees at the five new homes? All we have to do to make these bills palatable for everyone is put in one sentence that says we're gonna use civil service employees 
the state will be responsible, and we're not going to privatize the health care of veterans in Grand Rapids and Marquette. I haven't said anything in the newspapers. I haven't blasted anybody publicly. I've been trying to work behind the scenes to get this issue right. I care more about this issue getting right than any piece of organized labor, than any piece about privatization. I care about getting the issue right. To say that these bills reflect the agreements of the work group is inaccurate. Pick up the phone, ask any other legislator who showed up and participated. These bills are inaccurate, and I'm asking for a no vote. Thank you.